Uh, okay, so when we finished playing this the other night, my computer decides to. Is it? Okay. Uh, when we finished playing like this the other night, we got we got through. I think it's fair to say we got through the first chamber relatively um, easy, and then um, we spent a lot of time like doing things and stuff in here, and we kind of got various different scenarios and situations. But I think one thing I was. One thing I probably missed, or I didn't really take into account, was the theme from the first one, whereby we had to, or we have to, keep the lasers almost one on each side. I think like having a portal on this laser and that laser at some point in this puzzle is going to be a pretty pivotal point in it. So we will continue for the time being trying different bits and pieces here and seeing if we can get a situation like that set up and uh, we can then sort of go from there I guess <clears throat> excuse me but yeah I'd really like to sort of <clears throat> excuse me I'd really like to get this um all tied up today if I really could. That would be uh, an awesome feat. So let's get that cube there. And we'll take blue back. And this will send the to there. gives me the bridge and then I can use red here to I don't need to do this at the minute I need to get out there first so I can't do that just thinking here about how I could keep up that theme or manage that theme and get out of here with a laser a bit like that so I can walk over here Now we need to actually get rid of this because that's a cube we left in there from testing. I don't believe at the minute we're going to be able to do anything other than this. So we've pretty much gone back and reset the puzzle here at this moment in time. Is fine. It's completely fine. portals and do this. Okay. Now, did we really need to do that? We could have just left it from working on the base that we need to keep uh, we need portals on both the lasers. We could have easily achieved that by opening this like so. Portal on there. Drop this down here. And then could in effect do that. So we've got both our lasers there. Doesn't particularly help me too much at the minute though. So let's instead do what? Music is vibing. What's going on Mike? What's going on? Hope you're well buddy. Had a great weekend. About keeping a cube there. That doesn't matter. As long as I keep the portal. As long as I keep the portal uh, on that side, I should be okay. 
Okay. Go on, Mika. Yeah, I'm well, thank you very much, Mike. Sorry. I didn't mean to ignore your message. I'm very well, thank you very much. Okay, so what would we do here? Uh, we could put that to main... All about maintaining poles, right? Put that there. Does that help? Or is that a baddie move? It would allow us to do this and get this cube back. I'm not so sure. Let's leave this cube here for the time being and go back. See, without the cube, we're now stuck here. No, we're not, because... No, 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 we can do this. We still have a laser there. Okay. So, with that... could now, in effect, do this. I think I want to swap the cubes, maybe. By doing this, I've opened up this portal here. You've written, what, have you written that over the weekend, Mika? few days, I mean, I'm assuming you didn't, haven't written 15 pages in, like, one day? Okay, here's the problem with this. We need this cube to intersect this space here. Okay, so... If I was to do this this. This cube now needs to intersect this. Now I can go back. My biggest concern at the moment though, not that I like having concerns of course, but the biggest concern is Yeah, this is why I think I need to swap the cubes. Anyway, I keep digressing. Um my biggest concern at the moment is what the other side is for. Why is this a thing? to my save stakes. I don't think it's an easy feat actually to get swap them cubes back around. So this one actually wants to be blue. Okay. 
that. Now I want to line this up with this catcher. Right, that surface there. Yeah, I had a lot of time to um had a lot of time to contemplate this one over the weekend. I think of you know, it's done me good with some strategies and bits and pieces, so like but the we uh, I think Saturday night I was really hung up on keeping a cube there to walk across and I'd totally forgotten kind of like the whole point of the first area where we need to have both the cubes on portals and stuff, so... Rethink. Um, rings a bell, Mika. Rethink. Didn't... Um, vintage play that. Good on, Paul Ponky. How you doing, my dude? How is the weather north of the border? Is it um, as hot as it is down here? Joey said you're from Scotland. Apologies if you're not. Pretty sure it's been in a conversation before, though. chance you can um, like elaborate what's is it is it like a color based puzzle game or a holiday in Peterborough of all the places to go on holiday I wouldn't have thought Peterborough was like very exotic and if you're in Peterborough that means you're literally like a stone's throw away from myself <laughs> This is where we decide, is everything... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Give me a sec. So, uh, funny thing, I just solved the puzzle while I wasn't recording. Live on stream. Good job, Knock. Good job indeed. Alright, let's, re let's recreate the final steps uh, of what we just did. Uh, we had that there, we had that there. Let's keep us down here. Apparently, can just fly through water. So we've got the cube there, cube there, and I was what? Now let's just play. Let's play what if with not because I love playing this game. It's the best. And if we had this, then we could respawn this to here, like this. This putting into there should be the setup, I think. So, if I got everything right from where I was just a little tiny moment ago, um, yeah, we had this setup, we had this setup right here. So, we um, came through here, brought this cube through to here with us. We then turned this cube around to point into there. And then we respawn the red and we simply the blue. I didn't wait for it to respawn. This ladies and gentlemen is a prime example of why you do not rush a solution even when you think you know it. We give that cube enough time to respawn. Okay. 
cake that, and send of cake that, and we are done. Yes, I am doing it again because um, I like to show off the, sh the showcase solutions, but there we go. So yeah, that was really, so let me just sort of, that train of thought before I realised I wasn't recording. Let me just like revisit that train of thought. What I got bogged down on on Saturday was I thought I had to keep like a portal, so a cube on here um, to cross this bridge. I was thinking about it over the weekend and I was like thinking back to the first room and the first like chamber puzzle. There were multiple times I think where we had a portal on both lasers. So it's quite easy to sort of manage that keeping a laser on both sides because once you've got a laser on both sides and you can maintain that portal management you don't need a cube on these buttons here one thing i am like totally missed and i kind of alluded to this halfway through the solution i don't know what this is for why this is part of the solution i mean it's good if you've got both cubes and you want to open this up and you want to like change the orientation of the cube but i feel this this to me kind of feels like a bit of a red herring because i know at one point we were trying to do stuff with that cube uh, on that um conductive plate so i feel like it's a bit misleading because i did spend quite a bit of time like with the cube on there trying to figure out what to do and what the solution might be so um, obviously, I'll, that'll get fed back to Adam, and um, I'm sure I'll get comments on it from him. But um, yeah, we are done. The crisis is over, and that's it. It's time to celebrate. The queue is complete. The queue is complete. I honestly, I didn't think we'd ever get here. It's um, I don't want that one. Next, I want to exit. Um, I had so many maps just sitting in that queue and I honestly did not think for a second that we would get there um, any time like we did but um, yeah I wonder if my quick play will work shall we um, see if it works if it is we'll do just a few quick plays there we go so we'll just finish up with a few uh, quick plays, I guess, just to um, drag out. And then I, I seriously now have to, to um, kick my bum into gear gold. and um, sort out the rest of my queue because... Um, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, I need to sort the queue out and order everything and, and different bits and pieces. Anyway, let's, um, this is this week's most rated on the workshop uh, we've got about 35 minutes left so we'll, we'll tackle a few of these looks like a, a hammer map and uh, continuing with the four portal test chambers this chamber is intended to be more challenging than the last finally bugs or ways to break it let me know it's uh style is clean and the difficulty One is easy when you die i'm going to laminate lighting. your skeleton and pose you in the lobby that way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure Okay, this is interesting. Using like auto portals with regular portals. Yeah, this is um, this is different. All right, so this is a um, requirement for the exit. It's fine. And I suppose what I should really do here is get the laser and open up. This and that swaps out auto portals. Very nice. It's almost like a an insight into like co-op. Although obviously some of the portals are fixed. And then for the exit. Don't need to do much here, do we? Literally just gonna be case of that. And these cubes down here. For our last conversation, you're also ugly. I'm looking at your file right now, and it mentions that more than once. Oh, interesting. Seems like this uh, map maker is um, experimenting quite a bit with like four portals. So that's quite interesting. Yeah, sure. Send away, Mika. 
Q is for everybody's use. Uh, all right, this looks like it could be a bit of a roller coaster map. Just bouncing everywhere, pretty much it's cool though. Mm -hmm. that. Doesn't sound like a map snob or anything, but. Do I go or just the cube go? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. I have a laser or a cube. And they're in there to point at that. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Should, um... This one's safe. Right up. I mean, I guess I could stop being an idiot and just do this. Well, I shouldn't have regrabbed the cube midair, should I? I'm sure I have got everybody's maps. I've just, honestly, I've not been on the queue. I've not even looked at the queue for a long time. So, everybody's maps will be there. As long as you submit them on the Google form, then any maps you have requested will be there. for suppose it's in case you choose not to come with the um I guess is if you press the button and you choose to um come over differently then all that grab the edge of safety but yeah okay okay well nothing groundbreaking I guess but What have we got here? Portal Dawn number one. A uh, new series involved Portal 1 style. Portal 1 mechanics such as momentum pellets, cubes, buttons, fizzles, turrets. First few terms will also feature the blue portal gun and single portal tests. It's basically the Portal Solace series, but I'm going to re rehash and make it better. All right, so this is sort of uh, something that the, somebody's tried to make before and maybe not. Uh, on every match also has a companion, companion cube. They might break the puzzle depending on if you can bring them back or not. So they're not to worry too much about getting them, sort of thing, etc. etc. And it's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. That's all we're saying about that. I please have a portal. Here you go. Here, I guess I can.
whilst I don't like mind the whole um, like rotating um, guns and things, I, th I find it just slows the puzzles down too much sometimes. Yeah, unless you, I mean, you, obviously you can use host time scale to uh, get around bits and pieces. But yeah, I just find sometimes that when they are included, they just really slow everything down too much. Alright, so I'm just having a look to see if I can find the hidden companion cube. Mika is like the uh, pro portal player over there. Like he's like solving two at once. Mika's a bit like, I've been out of the game too long, guys. I'm going to have to solve two at once. Catch up. If it was like in there, I got no way of. Oop. So it wouldn't if it was in there. I got no way of getting back into there. So well, it seems like the cube I am looking for is not currently here. and secrets. They are in play. Not the end though. Alright. Classic Portal 1 style fling. See, I, would, I, I think I would find that difficult, Mika, for the simple fact, like, um, okay, sorry, I'll, sec, just, yeah, I'd find that difficult, because especially on the more difficult maps, I kind of, it's, I, I like to focus on one sort of point at a time, so, I kind of feel like if I was solving multiple puzzles at the same time, my concentration would sort of lapse almost. There it is, look. Can I get up there? Is there a portable floor? That's totally how I do it. We found the secret. The secret. Fizzle it. Let's make sure we LB it. Been LB'd. There we go. Nice introductory maps there. In a P1 style. Gonna thumb that up. I apologize. Alright, we get to play number two now. Going back to the whole sort of like the portal one blue gun rotating on the stand sort of like takes too much time. It's like the same with the elevators, really. The elevators are sort of um just let me go back on that one up. Um the elevator is just like really slow. Um 
Uh, temperature, first one inspired by a portal pro chamber with a little twist involving momentum and changing portal places. Um, second chamber also involves momentum and introduced player to high energy pellet. Also, beware of the flames. Oh, there's a companion cube hiding somewhere. If you found one in the last map, you might have a hunch as to where the second one might be. Right, so I'm guessing it's similar sort of position. Um, yeah, like the, the whole portal one style and the elevators and everything just slows everything down. Just everything's just like a slow experience with portal one stuff for some reason. Alrighty then. So I guess momentum. Could be up there, companion cube. Don't know how we would get up there though. Not up there then. I think it's safe to say. Oh, yes, it is. Look, it's it's been sneaky. Missed it. It was up there. It was up there. All right. Uh, how are we going to do that though? There we go. We did it. We got there. Hey, companion cube. We got you. Hey, Companion Cube, we got you. Hey, Companion Cube, we got you. Hey, Companion Cube, we got you. <laughs> and rinse and repeat. <sighs> Maybe that's my problem, Mika. I have a terrible, like, memory at the best of times, so... Probably why... I don't potentially... Keep up with... Oh, I gotta... Do... <laughs> um, Bhutan. Hmm. Okay. So I've placed my portal back there. Problem is, do this. And I lose my position. So what I should have done was, if we go back to the top here. I should have done this. Just to here. And I should have hit that actually. How come? Like the first time I did that. Oh, I know why. I know exactly why. Um. So what I did before was I didn't go straight off the top, I went off this ledge here. Didn't I? No, I didn't. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Then from here. Do that. Grab the cube, go through here. There we go. Go on, Mevis. Yeah, this there was some um, uh, Paul Pro based um, inspiration going on here. I don't know if it's exactly the same. Flinging. Any secrets? There are none. Alright, well that one was pretty straightforward. I mean, this is... You see this, like, rehashed this puzzle so many times, and this is, like, straight out of the campaign, really, isn't it? 
So one and in port two, it's replaced with the pellets are replaced with the laser catchers. Then you just have sort of like a, an elevator. So Leo, what's going on? Hope you're well. Um. So yeah. Yes, we actually solved it relatively quickly after um, I gave it some thought over the weekend as to what I did on um, number four now, uh, as well as I did on Saturday and what sort of mistakes I possibly made and what I could have done differently. And yeah, we solved it relatively quickly today. So uh, yeah, we're all done. The queue's clear. We're just going to play through some of the most popular for this week. Um, and then I need to get my bum into gear and sort out the queue so that we can start all over again and play some more uh, more recently requested maps, let's say. Uh, so two chambers, first auto portal activates from a button, featuring a pellet also, and second requires some timing with pellets, cubes, and hovering platforms. Lingering behind, the uh, command cube is lingering behind, I'm seeing somewhere a certain button will open the way. Spoilers. So I'm gonna need a need to cube that. And then it becomes relatively straightforward. We do this, walk through here, and do that. So, companion cube is by a certain button. I'm guessing it's this panel here that just seems to have popped open. Super secret stuff. Oh look, companion cube. Oh look, companion cube. Oh look, companion... Is that joke old yet? <laughs> oh dear. I think we might need a platform there. Just a hunch. And here comes the slowest platform in the world. Okay. How do we get to said slowest platform in the world? I guess we do this. I guess that's the timing element that they were referring to previously. I mean, I'll be blatantly obvious, like, after, like, playing, after playing, like, harder, like, the, the more complex and more difficult maps, you know, playing maps like this is, like, pretty much like a walk in the park. <laughs> crazy how like the difficulty like the difference in difficulty but obviously this is most popular and we all know what most popular is like in the workshop so now we're back to portal 2 star now i've never played talos community maps i really should play more uh, hello this is chamber this this is chamber little hard good luck i fix map right. perfect do this is the one that's going to bite me in the bum after I've just said that um, you know, these sorts of maps are pretty straightforward and easy. Did 
did that actually do? Nothing. Didn't do anything. Okay. being funny but this is the sort of map that um, we normally love to break but look at that beauty right there that is just that's let's just let's just take a moment and, and like take this in I mean that's just it's just pure it's pure beauty right there Can't deny the beauty right there. No oh, space skin. LB used to play um, community maps and such. Uh, I think a Sears also plays some community maps, but I don't know. I, sh I should really look at custom maps for Talos because it's such a fantastic game. Leverage, but I mean the difficulty is uh, apparently something. That was oh, quest uh, chamber, quest chamber. All right, time for one more quick one, I think, and then uh, we will uh, finish up. And it is a sector five map. Sector five got for us today. A new easy revision. Hope you like it. All right. Am I right in saying that these sorts of maps are normally like a little walking simulatory? Okay, well that's constantly going now. Hey, look at that. I got a cube. I wonder what we can do with the cube. Maybe we can point it somewhere. Maybe we could point it in here and it might be helpful. Give me a ball. Let's take the ball. The ball goes in a cup. deactivate somewhere. Oh, hold on. I just need to do that. Okay, well that's simple enough. 
just do this. Um, later on, he started to have uh, quite a few more live streams. I think because his um, his portal queue got so like uh, built up so much. I think he was kind of trying to go back. What am I going back for? Um, oh wow, sneaky! Uh, because his portal queue kind of like built up so much. I think he was trying to do a few more live streams to kind of um, do some like, catching up and stuff on anything. Oh, would you look at that? I got a cube. Yeah, that's what I thought, Crazy. They're sort of a bit like walking simulator ish. Is this the real exit? I guess it is. I guess it is. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, yeah, the queue is done. I'm going to have to spend some time now um, going over everything and getting everything in position and getting everything right. So uh, I will do that. And hopefully by the next time we have a Portal 2 stream, the uh, queue will be ready to go. So stay tuned. Um, if you want to check the progress of the queue, obviously, as always, you can use the links. Um, but, yeah. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Try not to melt in this heat if it is hot where you are. And until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Happy gaming.